Right guys, welcome back to Fox Recon. So I've just dug myself a Dakota fire pit and we're going to be cooking a barbecue on that tonight. Now I've made the air hole a lot bigger than what I normally have them so hopefully my fire is going to burn a lot more efficiently today slash tonight. Now moving on, we're also going to be testing out a wildlife camera which was sent out to me by the Chinese company called Togod. In fact, I'm recording recording myself as I speak to you on the Tall God wildlife hunting camera. Now the third thing we're also going to be doing is we're going to be doing some air pistol shooting. I've got some premium pellets which we want to test out and see you know if they actually help improve my accuracy. Now guys again welcome back to Fox Recon and now let's start chopping some firewood for my fire. <laughs> Right guys, so that's basically everything done now. I've, you know, dug the Dakota fire pit, I've collected firewood. To be honest with you, the firewood doesn't really need cutting because the sticks are, you know, and the branches, they're that dry that it's just snapping. So I don't really need my saw today. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pack up, I'm going to head home and get pack my kit ready for tonight and then we'll be back here again so yeah guys you know let's hope it's going to be a good good night tonight Yep, got everything. Happy days. So I'm going to light my fire now. Now, if you've been watching the previous videos, then you will know that I'm now starting to try and light my fires with only one flame. So I've got some sticks and twigs in here and I'm going to light it with cotton wool and a spark. And then I've got a little airs bit, you know, accelerator in order to hopefully get the flame going and then get the fire going. Whether or not, you know, it's going to go out, I don't know, but hopefully it's not and it's going to stay lit and we're just going to, you know, have an awesome, awesome fire tonight. So, let's go. Now, there we go. Let's see if this works. See if the spark works. Yep, perfect spark's working. Oh, there we go. Now we're lit. So, let's see if we can get this, boys, lit. Now... 
Oh, I think we could do this, guys. Right, guys, so we've got the fire going. And, yeah, i done it with only one flame. So, again, you know, I'm feeling pretty manly about that. But, yeah, so I've got the wildlife camera. It's actually down the woodlands there, and it's, you know, set onto motion mode, so if anything goes by it, it will record it. Now, I don't actually expect to capture anything tonight via the motion mode. However, if I do, then, you know, so be it. But I've been actually out with the audience survey maps recently, and I can honestly say that I've found some pretty cool places. Now, I need to go back out there, and explore them a bit more but I'm pretty sure I found an active biter set and I want to set the wildlife camera up around that area now the reason why I've not been there yet with the wildlife camera is because knowing my luck if I set the wildlife camera up in a new place and then I go back to get it it's probably been nicked you know what I mean somebody's probably stolen it so I thought what I'll do I'll bring the wildlife camera with me tonight I'll test it out do my review once that's out of the way, then I can feel free to go and put it in new places where I've not been. So, you, you know what I'm saying, guys, don't you? But anyway, that fire is now lit. So, I think I should just move on and start doing something else. Right, guys. So, the fire is burning outside. And I just thought, you know, I'd spend some time in my tent. I went back and I got the wildlife camera because I want to play with it now. So I'm basically using it now to video me inside the tent. But yeah, the tent I'm in tonight is the Matterhorn One Man Tent. Now, I'm trying to work out what that bird is. It's like squeaking. Do you hear that? Is that an oil or is that a bird? Either way, I think I'm going to have company tonight, guys. Right, so I'm going to... Yeah, I'm, yeah, again, so to finish off, I'm in the Yellowstone Matterhorn tent. One man. And yeah, I only pay 20 quid for it, guys. Right, I'll catch you later on. So my fire is burning lovely. I've got my tent set up, as you all know. Now, going back to that tent, that tent is the Yellowstone Matterhorn and again it only cost me 20 quid and that tent actually gets a lot of knocking on social media people saying oh it's not good and blah blah guys that tent is great value for money you know it's actually kept me dry when it's been raining it's kept me dry now, what I can say about it is that the manufacturers of that tent has used large stitching, which means that's how they've saved costs, because they've used large stitching. Now, when you use large stitching, what happens is that means that the stitching becomes weak. So, because I have a sewing machine, I've went around that entire tent with small stitching, which means that I've made that tent stronger than what it actually was. Now, there's other things that has problems with that tent, and that is the pole. The pole can snap very easily. However, what I've done is I've gone around the pole and reinforced it with... Uh, what's called duct tape and that is going to give it added strength so that's another thing i've done to as a precaution but yeah again guys i actually i actually think for 20 quid i don't think you can go wrong with the yellowstone matterhorn one man tent right guys so i've set up the wildlife camera i've got a target over there i've got my air pistol so let's see if i can hit that target you ready guys let's go
I'll tell you one thing, guys. You know them premium pellets what I've bought? Well, I can actually hear, you know, like, a gunshot, even though it's an air pistol. It's kind of, like, scary. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, let's take another pop shot. I've already hit it once. I want to hit it twice now. Let's go. Hit it. Missed. Honestly guys, really cannot wait for this food. Now the burgers, they're really looking great them. The chicken, these are just really snacks. So, actually I'm going to try it now. See what it's like. Using the back of my bloody knife there. Let's see. Mmm. Yeah. That's delicious, that. Southern fried chicken. And yeah. That is succulent. Digging that. Really can't wait to dig into my burgers. Right guys, I think I'm just going to call it the night now and uh, go to my bed. Oh yeah, I heard a fixing scream before. So basically I heard a female fox. And yeah, I, you know, they sound like the squealing, but you know, I, I don't know. I think it's a, is it a mating call or something. But anyway, I know it was 100% a fixing call. Fixing V I X E N. Again, that's V I X E N. A female fox definitely heard one shouting before calling. Right, guys, I'm off to bed, so I'll see you all in the morning, yeah?
Good morning chaps. So from about 12 o'clock last night through to 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, it was heavy downpour of rain. So going back to the tent and with those guys who constantly knock this cheap tent then guess what guys i am absolutely perfectly dry not one drop of water soaked through this tent last last night again you know it's a 20 i paid 25 quid for this tent and I've done my own reinforcements again with like the stitching down here. I've went over it, made smaller stitches to make it a stronger tent. But again, guys, that has just had what like seven, eight hours worth of constant downpour of rain, and it did not let one single drop through. And I got to tell you guys, you normally know me. I normally I'm normally away for like half past five in the morning but because it was raining i thought you know i'll just stay in and have a little sleeping and i can honestly tell you it's now 10 21 in the morning so there you go guys you can as a matter of fact i was i was nearly commando last night you know what i mean i was getting too hot so uh, some of the layers just had to come off you know again i was nearly nearly going commando but again you know yeah, it's been a good night. It's been a very, very good night. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pack up and then head home. What I love the most about this tent is that it's very quick to set up. As you can see, it's only got one pole. It's a bit like a hooped bivy bag. Not only that, another thing why I love about it is that it's so light to carry. It's so small and it's so light to carry. It weighs, I think, about 1.5 kilograms and it all fits into this one tiny little bag. And yeah, I got to admit guys, I actually love this tent 